Good morning, folks. We've got a nice look at the puny sunspot group traipsing across the Earth-facing half of the sun. We'll hit a number of top stories today, so let's go to spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star was relatively quiet. Opposing the bright sunspot group is the large dark coronal hole, to which Earth magnetically connected over the last two days, and that was to be a seismic watch. But first, in terms of a solar flare watch, the story is much less exciting. We do have small sunspots to the grouping, but they are not developed and are magnetically simple. Red and blue spread left to right. The interplanetary magnetic fields from the coronal hole should actually be somewhat stronger given the size of the departing field opening, and as you can learn at quakewatch.net, one of the primary triggers around the ring of fire would be the anomalously low pressure cells. This North Pacific bomb out is directly over top of the 6.5 that struck the region yesterday. Again, learn about those factors at quakewatch.net. Let's go to GOES, see one of the prettier storm systems of the spring so far. It was relatively disorganized until finding the waters off the east coast there, where it drew into its circling low cell, began flashing lightning, and took off racing up the coastline. Disorganized rain clouds present the best huddle-up effect here in infrared. Let's take a quick look at a few articles. First, it's a time lapse of a glacier. Almost a prank from NASA as they made the video a glacial 15 minutes long. Fun paper hit archive last night on a few scientists' ideas to take a thousand people to Mars for a permanent colony. Up next, we require a look at the interstellar medium, the dust and plasma and gases that don't show up well in the visible, but in fact, they outmass all the stars in most galaxies, control its star formation and evolution, and likely dictate the rotational dynamics as well. Good but complex read hit the archive detailing how important the smallest scale structures are to the grandest scales of the cosmos. Last but not least, VLA has taken its first images of the Taurus jet nucleus of a powerful radio galaxy. This is what we saw out of Stanford's SLAC and Lawrence Livermore at Berkeley, the axial current, the magnetic fields around it, and most importantly, the torus around the center, quickly becoming the most important shape from particle physics to cosmology. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. Earthquake Watch isn't over yet here. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.55 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.